Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to the homestead. Sure glad you could join us. We're here for our midweek romp out at the, uh, the place. I worked this morning, and we're up here this afternoon. See if we can get a few things done. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but behind me, you can see the grass is just growing fast. Anyway, I've got a little couple little branches that fell off out of a tree that I need to pick up. I also need to go get some uh, mound destroyer. I've got a big anthill that's starting just outside the fence uh, next to our driveway. So I need to get rid of that. And then I may need to weed eat, well, everywhere. <laughs> I don't think I'll do that. But we're going to probably do some weeding in, in the, uh, the pinned area next to the RV and also probably along the fence where we pull in the, the driveway and stuff on the inside though. Also around our water spigot and our hose and all that stuff. It really is just growing crazy. So that's what we're going to do. So fasten your seat belts. Hold on, let's go. I don't know if you can see that, but a lot of ants. Yeah, I'm going to weed eat the, uh, the pinned in area. That, those weeds are long. It's been a couple of weeks. Welcome to the homestead. Glad you're with us today. It's midweek. We've come up for just a few hours for today. And the first thing I have to do is check on this garden. You know I do. And so I've looked over here at the outdoor potatoes. They're growing really swell. I looked over here at the corn. It is still growing, but the color is not a real pretty dark green. It is a light green leaves, which I don't know what that means. Maybe not enough fertilizer, maybe too much water. Who knows what it is it did rain an awful lot checked out the strawberries i should have picked those two strawberries before we left because they not only were ripened but they started to shrivel back they say that's really bad if you let things go to seed um, and over ripen on the plants because it tells the plants that it doesn't have to produce because it has reseeded and so um, i've got to remember to put, pick things early versus late anyway they're looking okay now i'm going inside for the first time and we're going to check out all the vegetables and see what's going on and do my uh, updated watering outside we don't have to water because like i said it rained but inside we do have to water first thing at a glance i'm seeing is that so far just looking quickly everything that i transplanted has survived but now i'll go through and i'll look more closely at the details of it and I'll check to see if there's moisture in these pots. I have an actual stick that goes inside and supposed to measure them, but not sure where it is. It's somewhere in this mess. They're doing okay, but what I am seeing is just like the corn, the leaves are very light green with some dark green on them. So they're not necessarily appreciating this and maybe it's because I don't know, there should be enough nutrients in there to get them started, so not sure why. But then again, I'm not a gardener. I'm just trying, somebody trying to feed their family, be successful in case the end of the world happens and all that good stuff. So let's keep looking. 
Okay. Cauliflower is still doing okay. Kale is uh, got some yellow in it. His cauliflower still doesn't have anything going on. Huh. These are the squashes or the zucchinis that I told you about that look kind of yellow. If anybody can tell me why they look yellow, I'd appreciate it. Here's the little cucumbers. Again, the leaves are yellow. I wonder if that's because of the diffused light. Carrots are popping up through here. They look good. All these little guys that are ready to be transplanted, they're growing. But these tomatoes right here, they uh, look like they might be suffering a little bit. I think the reason I'm seeing this yellow with the brown spots is that I hit it when I was fertilizing. Wasn't so uh, careful. Same thing over here. Wasn't so careful with that. But I will cut these off. These, these three right here. Give it a chance. Same thing over here. I think I hit it with the fertilizer. I gotta be more careful. This one looks good, but it too has a, a bad yellow spot. Looks good. And then the rest of the seedlings that I did not plant are doing really good. They're starting to look really good. With the garden looking pretty good, I'm just gonna hit it real quick with some buckets of water just to make sure that the things that are dry get moist and then off to do some real work. Okay, according to my little stick, most of these things are real moist. That might be why they're yellow, too moist, because it's been four days since they got watered and they're staying up in the moist area. And so I need to be careful not to overwater, but it's really hard for me to judge how much water to give these things. Okay, the tomatoes are good. I need to hit the asparagus though. So just a few things to water. Definitely need to water these little babies and, uh, and the potatoes a little bit. But I think we're good. It takes care of that. Let's see what other kind of mischief we can get into. Okay, last time we were here, you know that the pathway was closing up to get to the grapes as well as this area. What you don't know is that later that evening, off camera, we ended up mowing the garden area and weed eating the path. And so as you can see, my path has opened up again and we cleaned around the grapevines. Let's go look at those grapevines. It's been a while. So as you can see, I got 50% of my grapes are growing. Same thing goes with the berry bush. One is growing, one is not. Maybe they'll come, time will tell. Okay, I'm gonna do a little trimming just around the outside of the pen, um, and then I think we'll move on out uh, by the driveway like I had mentioned earlier. So let's get to it. All right, well, that does it for what I'm gonna do around the pen. Let's head on out there uh, where the water spigot is, around the fence, that kind of stuff, because that's really overgrown over there.
somewhere in the midst of all of this grass is a bunch of limbs and stuff that we need to burn. So I guess I better try to get some of the grass around it down so we can find those limbs so we can burn them. Well, that's the battery. It gave up finally. I gotta tell you, this is a, a Lowe's brand weed eater, Cobalt. Um, it's 40 volt, brushless. It's, uh, it is quite the beast. Considering it's electric and rechargeable, it's kind of amazing how much it can do. I need to get a, another battery for it. But funny enough, if you buy the five amp hour battery, it's $200 uh, for just the battery. But for $179, I can buy a 40 volt blower, leaf blower, that comes with a battery and an extra charger. Doesn't make any sense, but I think that's what we're gonna wind up doing. I don't know that we actually need the blower here, but uh, we could use the extra battery and the extra charger. So I'm thinking um, here in the near future, that's one of the things we're gonna, purchases we're gonna make. We're gonna buy that leaf blower. And if we find we don't use it, then we'll either sell it or, or give it to our daughter who runs the same kind of tools. She's uh, the reason we have this is I borrowed hers when we first bought the property for about a month or two and I just couldn't believe how well it did and how long it lasted considering the, the, the tough stuff we were putting it through. So that's why we ended up with this one. Anyway, for now, this battery's tired. Um, so I'm gonna have to see if there's something else I need to do. Okay. Well, I went ahead and I planted some more seeds. I planted cantaloupe, watermelon, some more green beans, and more peas. And uh, then I transplanted those tomatoes that were in that flat. I know they are tomatoes. I don't know what the other two things are that I transplanted. Put them all in their own little cups. I hope they do okay. We'll see that in a couple of days when we come back. And um, I got a couple of more buckets that were ready to to go ahead and plant in as soon as all my transplants are ready to be transplanted into the ground. So, didn't do any of that on camera, but it sure took a long time. I'll just attach this video to Lee's video and we'll see what he's up to.
Well, okay. That takes care of the mowing, uh, the front yard and stuff. I may go wander around and see if there's something else I can catch on the way back in, but you don't need to be there for that. Uh, I know we seem to do a lot of the same stuff over and over, but that's pretty much what our life is. But we really enjoy letting other people into our lives and, and we'd like to get to know you more. So please don't forget to leave us a comment. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll know when we let out a, another video, which at the moment is daily. And I've got to tell you, that is an awful lot of work for my bride. Editing these videos is not um, a simple task. Uh, there's lots of foul ups, flubs and blunders, uh, stumbling over words. I tend to have blank spots when I'm talking because my mind's thinking about other things instead of what I'm talking about. And she has to go and make that all look nice and then she speeds it up when appropriate, slows it down when she can, and adds that music. So God bless her for what she does. A lot of the editing and video clipping she does, you don't even get to see. You don't even notice it. She does it so well. But she spends hours editing each video and she's putting out a video a day. That's pretty incredible if you ask me. So give her a little thumbs up if you would. So God bless you. We'll see you next time on the homestead.